All right, hello and welcome everybody. J-Man here back for some more reactions. So we are continuing that journey through um, From Wishes to Eternity, uh, Tar Tarya era of Nightwish. Um, we've worked our way up to Elven Pass. So this, I believe, is song nine on the set list. Um, so got a little bit of house cleaning to take care of here um, for YouTube. Um, we can kind of do our own house cleaning on Twitch here, and I've had a little bit of talk with with Twitch. Um, I had to uh, I had to block somebody on YouTube today. Not happy about that, um, but it basically was somebody that was attacking people for their opinions on who's the better singer in the band. Um, I have absolutely no problem with anybody stating their opinion of. I prefer Floor, I don't care for Tarya. I prefer Tarya, I don't care for Floor. Floor rules, Tarya sucks, Tarya rules, Floor sucks. I don't care, that's fine. I have no problem with that, that's your opinion. More power to you. This person was attacking the person for their beliefs, for their opinions. And saying, well, if you don't like Tarya, then you're not a you're not a true metal fan. If if you only like the the Floor era Nightwish, then you're not a true metal fan. And I I commented about it, told him I didn't care for those kinds of opinions in in chat on YouTube, and gave him kind of a warning. And then they came back with the same kind of bullshit. And I was like, all right, dude, you're out. I don't give you three strikes in my book. You get two strikes. I warn you once, second time. I got no time for that. Um, so just know that if you're if you're in uh, YouTube chat and you're picking fights and you're uh, you're you're coming with disparaging comments about the person that has an opinion, I got no time for that. You're gonna get blocked. Um, go find somebody else to watch. I don't have any time for that. So just wanted to kind of put it out there. I'm I'm absolutely fine. Um, I'm absolutely fine with, like I said, back and forth about who you feel is better and um, your opinions on who's better and all that stuff. Got no problem with that. Um, I've got a problem when you start attacking the person um, for their beliefs and things like that. And yeah, so the person... Uh, Forkless is talking about people that like their fallacies. Basically, what I told the guy was, when I when I deleted him, I, I said, go look up the, the no true Scotsman fallacy and you'll understand why I'm booting you out of here. Um, because, you know, it, it's basically to say, well, if you don't believe in the thing that I believe in the way that I believe it in, then you're not a true ex, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, I do listen to the Atheist Experience, and I'm a big Matt Dillahunty fan. Um, and before that, I did, I actually was the guy that in, uh, in college, I think most degrees require that you take a, um, you, you, that you take a, uh, a class in, I'm having a Swiss cheese moment, um, fallacies have to do with doggone it twitch help me out what am i looking for um da, 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 da. arguments logical uh, uh uh logical like logical fallacies um creating logical arguments and things like that um so yeah basically i had to take that class i was the guy that uh philosophy good grief there you go swiss cheese brain all over the place um I, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of understanding philosophy in terms of being able to create a valid argument. And, um, I, 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 I was, I was one of very few in my class that actually liked it. Um, yeah. So, you know, if you, if you're going to understand philosophy, you have to understand how to create a logical argument and what is a valid and sound argument versus what's not a valid and sound argument. Um, and, you know, I enjoyed it. I mean, that the philosophy class that I took was basically having to do with logical syllogism. Um, 
and uh so yeah so i i you know i enjoy that kind of stuff and i feel like you know if if you're going to try to represent your position on something and and you want to debate that with somebody else uh you need to start with a basic understanding of what makes a valid and sound argument and what doesn't and i love that about matt i love it when matt calls bullshit on people's arguments because it's just a a bunch of bullshit um but anyways i digress let's go ahead we'll jump on in here um we're going to be reacting to nightwish elven path from the from wishes to eternity concert dvd the remastered version so let's go ahead and switch scenes and let's get it this is elven shade of the forest calling calm and silence accompanied only by the full moon pretty close to me bird and the bath under my bare feet the elven bath Definitely hear the late 90s rock vibe in this song. That guitar riff sounds a little Judas Priesty to me. Yeah, so I haven't been pausing much, but definitely the the reverb effect that uh, Empu's got on the guitar is giving me really hard, really really hard Judas Priest vibes, and I love it. I, I love it. I mean, I'm a big Judas Priest fan, um, so it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, just just the reverb effect that he's got going on his guitar sounds very reminiscent of Judas Priest. Let me back it up a smidge. Early years of the second age, great Elven Smith's fall to rings of power. 
Schmidt, die Schmidt. Ich küss. leave with the uh, bit war path going on. So yeah, go in poo. Yeah, I that was when I like thank you, Coos. Thanks for the bits, bud. Thanks for all the bits. Um yeah, this was one that um I I definitely I enjoyed. Um you know, it, it wasn't if she Tarya even did a little bit in the beginning there, kind of down in a very low register for what I've heard from her. Um and it was cool to hear her mix it up a little bit and do something a little bit different and those parts up in that the real high staccato notes that she was doing, those were beautiful. Those were spot on. I loved them. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I really honestly, I don't remember how Floor did this song. Um, so I, it's not that I can I could do like a one to one comparison, but I definitely I give this one a, a 9.5 out of 10. Uh, the the the. Riff is awesome. The guitars sounded great. Yuka was killing it on the drums. Keyboards were great. Um, the bass was awesome. Uh, Sami back there, you know, he's just kind of that lurker. Uh, Sami is kind of that that like Twitch or YouTube lurker that's just watching shit, not making any comments, not doing anything. Um, you know, just kind of sitting back in the back, chilling, doing his thing. You know. Um, but yeah, I liked it. You know, yeah. Like I said, good solid 9.5 out of 10. A non-gapple. Annoying gapple. Hello, what's going on? Speaking of lurkers, <laughs> what's going on? They played a little slower in Buenos Aires. Gotcha. Yeah, like I said, I, I don't really... Some of these songs, I didn't, I, of all the concerts that we did, um, I didn't, I didn't have Buenos Aires on repeat like I did some of the others. Definitely some of the songs that they did, um, I listened to a few different times, um, but we went straight from Buenos Aires into the new album and, and I was just freaking hooked on the new album. It was like, ever since then, I've... I've been listening to mostly human nature that that's what's been on my that's what's been on my playlist for the last few days. All right. Well, anyways, there we go. That's my thoughts on this. Definitely. Um, definitely like this one, like this performance all around. Very good performance. Um, thank you, YouTube, for joining. Hope you're having fun out there. Everybody be nice. Can't we all just get along on YouTube with the whole floor Tarya thing? Um, just be respectful of the right of everybody's right to have their own opinions and like what they like and not like what they don't like. That's that's their opinion. That's all it is. It's not saying you're wrong for having your opinion if they disagree with your opinion. So let's all just try to get along and, and embrace the Nightwish family and, and 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 everybody love each other for the fact that we love Nightwish. So. All right. Uh, hope you uh, hope you hang around. We're going to have uh, definitely some more songs coming up here uh, after this one. Um, so, yeah, everybody be good. Peace.